Today I'm going to talk about when it makes sense for you to pay your annual fee for your credit card. And trust me, there are times when you actually do want to pay the annual fee because the rewards outweigh the amount that you pay. There are many credit cards that give you rewards when you pay your annual fee and then there are those that don't. So let's get the obvious out of the way and look at those that do not give you rewards when you pay your annual fee and you should avoid paying annual fee for these cards. For such cards, you should contact the bank for a fee waiver and even if your fee waiver request is denied, don't worry, the annual fee may already been charged to your card but you can always cancel it because it is for the subsequent year and if you choose to cancel it, the bank will not charge you the fee. As usual, thanks for watching my video and please drop me a like because it really helps boost my channel. Thanks for helping. From my experience, there are some banks that are better than other banks when it comes to annual fees and the good players I would say are CIMB which does not charge any annual fees at all so you don't even have to contact the bank and waste time trying to get a fee waiver. HSBC Revolution also is free for life so no fuss over there. And other banks like Citi, UOB, DBS, uh, HSBC and Maybank so far I have not had any issues with them uh, granting a fee waiver for my cards even though I don't put a lot of spending on some of them. So I think you shouldn't have too much issues getting your annual fees waived. In my experience, some banks are also a little bit more stringent when it comes to fee waivers and OCBC requires you to spend at least $10,000 within a year to qualify for a fee waiver. So if you're spending quite a bit on your OCBC cards, I don't think you have an issue getting the fees waived. Another institution that I have some issues getting my fees waived with would be Amex and they often offer 50% annual fee waiver, which I don't think is enough. Uh, so I once had my Amex True Cashback card uh, only had 50% of the annual fee waived and therefore I cancelled the card. Six months later, I reapplied for the card and guess what? I got the upsize 3% cashback rate for new card holders. So I, I don't know why some companies are more stringent with the annual fee waiver because I think it just creates more fuss for us. But as a game of credit cards, if you know how to pay it well, you won't have to pay a single cent of annual fees. Do take note if you are using a UOB points card, UOB tends to deduct uni dollars from your points balance to pay for the annual fee. And because this does not show up on your statement as a cash deduction, it's a little bit harder to spot. But do remember to use the app and go ahead and tap the correct options to get your fee waiver and you tend to get your points back with a new expiry date. So yeah, that's a silver lining in an otherwise uh, unnecessary affair of requesting for fee waiver. Now let's move on to cards that actually give you some rewards and perks when you pay the annual fee and see whether or not it is worth paying money for. Entry level miles cards like OCBC 90N, CD Premium Miles and DBS Altitude offer you 10,000 miles when you pay the annual fee. Now the annual fee is currently $194.40 inclusive of GST and from next year, if you're watching this in 2024, it will increase to $196.20. Basically when you pay the annual fee and get those miles, you are paying a rate of 1.94 cents per mile which is on the more expensive side. Now, if you are someone who's already paying for business class tickets out of pocket, buying each mile at 1.94 cents actually do make sense and saves you money rather than you paying cash for your business class tickets. But for most of us who will never have paid the cash price for business class tickets, this is quite an expensive uh, cost per mile to consider. Most of us should be able to use miles at around 1 to 1.25 to maybe 1.5 cents each. So buying them at 1.94 cents obviously uh, does not make any sense. Check out my video on how to value a mile for more details. However, every now and then, you actually get promotional sign up bonuses that gives you more than 10,000 miles. For instance, Trevor is currently giving 20,000 miles when you pay the $194.40 fee. And I've already analyzed whether or not this promo makes sense in my website. So check it out in the description link below. And CD Premium Miles is also giving 30,000 bonus miles when you sign up for the card as a new to city card holder. These promos bring your mile buying rate to around one cent each and that is a good price point to buy miles at because you can now enjoy not only discounted business class tickets but you can also use them for promotional fares such as Singapore Airs Spontaneous Escapes which happens monthly and you can find uh, deals like 11,900 miles to get to Bali and other promotional rates that will actually boost the value of your mile quite significantly. Now let's move up to the higher end credit cards that require $120,000 annual income and those cards tend not to give any fee waiver at all and you must pay the annual fees. In return, they will give you a bunch of miles as well as some other rewards and perks. Now I'll start with the CD Prestige card which I got last year and I've decided to renew it, pay the annual fee of $540 because I found the rewards given to be well worth the annual fee paid. Firstly, the CD Prestige gives 25,000 miles when you renew the card and pay the annual fee and I value 25,000 miles at anywhere between $250 
to $312.50 because my value per mile is 1 to 1.25 cents. In fact, I even got more than 10,000 bonus miles from being a long-term CD customer uh, because I started my first bank account with them more than 10 years ago and therefore I got the maximum bonus rate under CD Prestige. I'm leaving these bonus miles aside when considering whether or not to renew the CD Prestige card because I would have gotten them even if I'm not renewing the card. So yeah, they shouldn't factor into my renewal decision. Secondly, the CD Prestige card also gives up to 8 airport transfers within a year and that is 2 per calendar quarter. And I found this to be very very useful when I plan my trips because cab rides are easily $30 from my place to the airport. So I'm pricing them at $30 each even though they cost $80 to $100 because they will send a Mercedes to my place. I'll never pay $80 to $100 for a ride to the airport so I'm just pricing them at $30 which is the uh, average price of a cab to the airport and I can realistically use this perk about four times a year and therefore that's $120 of value. Now if you use this more obviously you can get $240 if you're traveling uh, that often within the year but realistically I'm going to just take it as four trips a year and therefore $120 of value. Thirdly, the City Prestige Hotel Benefit I think will actually get you the most value for your buck because if you use it right you can actually get hundreds of dollars of value from this one perk. Personally speaking, as someone who's a little bit more prudent in my spending, I think that per trip you can expect to extract anywhere between $100 to $200 of value. On my recent trip to Seoul, I actually saved $160 and uh, last year my trip to Da Nang, I saved $90 using this perk. And these are real savings. By real savings, I mean I actually compare it to realistic prices that I can get outside. And for more information, you should look at my article which I've written on my website. Obviously, the more expensive your hotel and the more frequent you travel, the more savings you'll get from this, but you are spending more in the year. So I will be a bit more prudent and conservative and put this at about $250 of value. I think aside from the most budget of travelers, most people should be able to extract at least two to $300 of value from this one perk if they travel at least once or twice a year. And yeah, so let's put it at $250 of value. With that, I have already recouped my annual fee and then some. And then there's still the unlimited priority pass membership to consider. Now, previously when I signed up for this card, I did not even put a value to this because I thought I can get free visits with other cards like City Premier, Miles or DBS Altitude. But bear in mind, those are limited, whereas this is unlimited plus one guest, which means you can do stupid things like lounge hop at different airports. And this I found to be actually very useful because there are some lounges that are either overcrowded or the food sucks and therefore I have to find another lounge and having unlimited access allows me to pick the one that is most comfortable before my trip. And when you are bringing a guest, that's two visits on your way to the destination and on the way back, you can also use two visits and when you arrive in Singapore, you can also still use the lounge before returning home. So those lounge visits actually add up quite substantially and I think those free cards that give free memberships don't quite cut it if you want to visit the lounge often. Priority Pass prices this at a staggering 469 US dollars which is more than 630 Sing dollars which I think is ridiculous, I will never pay this amount but if you were to uh, put a value to it, I think a reasonable amount will be 60 to 120 dollars per year because of the number of visits you can actually go on a single trip alone. So if you add up all the perks you receive from the card, I think it's quite easy to recoup the annual fee of CD Prestige and then more if you travel more often. And if you're new to CD Prestige, the sign up bonus for new CD Prestige customers makes it a no brainer. You get an upsize sign up bonus of 48,000 miles, which alone can almost recoup your annual fee already. So I think if you qualify for the card, do sign up for the card with my link below and you keep me making more videos. The next card I'll analyze will be the DBS Vantage card and that card requires $594 of annual fee. It gives you 25,000 miles upon renewal and again that's around $250 to $312.50 in value. The DBS Vantage card also gives you a free Echo Plus membership which is priced at $418 but realistically speaking I think you can extract around $150 to $200 worth of value from this. The Echo Plus membership gives you a bunch of perks but the most substantial benefit would be the free one night hotel stay in one of Echo's hotels. Now I tried to go online to book but because I procrastinated until the last month, there's only Ivy's hotels to book in Singapore and that's I think not even $150 worth. I can still book some pretty nice hotels overseas but I think at best I'll give this a $200 value 
And finally, uh, DBS Vantage also comes with Priority Pass, but instead of an unlimited one, it gives you 10 visits within a calendar year. This is priced at 329 US dollars on Priority Pass website, but again, I'll never pay this much for uh, 10 visits. But I think you can price it at around 60 to 120 dollars. Even though it is not unlimited, it does have a benefit over the unlimited pass, which is it allows you to bring in a large group at once to a lounge. If you travel with family members or a big group of friends, then I think this actually has some advantages over the unlimited pass. So you can put the same 60 to 120 dollars value on this pass, uh, depending on your travel habits. With that, I think if you add up the benefits you can get from the DBS Vantage card, I wouldn't actually renew this card by paying the fee, but those new to DBS Vantage card can actually get a sign up perk, which makes the annual fee a lot more worth it. So check out my link uh, to see an analysis of the promo for more details. Now, there are a lot of other cards, such as the Amex Platinum Charge card, uh, OCBC and UOB all have their own high end cards, and I need time to slowly analyze them. So stay subscribed to my Telegram group if you're interested to see more analysis on whether or not annual fees of some cards should or should not be paid. And also check out this video for a video on airport lounges and this video which YouTube thinks you really, really like. And I'll see you in those videos.